Hello my beautiful Leos and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Erica. I'm a psychic medium and I'm a healer, a priestess, all the things, right? So welcome in. Um, nice to meet you. Those of you guys returning, welcome back my loves. I have a lot of Leo love on this channel. Got a lot of love for my Leos. You know, I've come to see on a pretty large scale that there's a lot of divine counterparts, whether it be a twin flame or you know, past life soulmate that are Leo and Libra, or they have like very powerful placements opposite or mirroring things like that in their, in their birth charts. Um, so it's pretty cool. Look at that. As I'm talking about you guys, the sun card. Ooh, yeah, there is a destined, very happy sense of completion here. Um, I'm starting off using the Mystic Shaman Oracle. I absolutely love this deck. Very powerful deck. This is a really good deck to get for yourself. Like, um, if you want like guidance cards or it's shamanic. So there's like the invitation, the medicine, the message, you know, they break up each card into like three different messages. I really love it. So anyways, I just saw one, two, three. Happiness is coming your way. This is beautiful. You're ruled by the sun. Number 53 breaks down to an eight. As above, so below. The infinity symbol. There's an infinite bond here. It never ends. Completion. Wow. Just right off the bat. Now, this is also a sense of completion for you guys. Number nine. The Andean cross. Okay, so... Um, Andean energy or the Andes, things like that. Um, that could be resident for some reason or the next. It's kind of funny because just yesterday I saw, sent my, uh, my mom a video from Instagram and it was an, and the Andean, uh, uh, oh my gosh, com not Commodore. Um, they're a huge bird. Maybe it is, it's not Commodore. Maybe it is Commodore. Maybe it is a Commodore. The Andean Commodore. Actually, I think that's right. This bird is huge. It looks like a freaking dinosaur bird. The feet, the, the claws on it, like its feet are like huge. Anyways, you guys may want to look it up. It's wild, but it's the biggest flying bird in the world. It's huge. It has like a wingspan of like over 10 feet long and like, it's just like massive. Um, anyways, this, what I'm getting here is the cross, right? So I'm getting like, destiny like crossing paths the cross like you you're crossing destined paths with someone here okay so i'm not going to read all three of these because the messages are kind of long so what i'm going to do is i'm going to read the sun card okay since it's 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 beautiful leo energy so i'm going to read the sun card we're going to get a message um by the way this is obviously well you guys saw the title so you guys already know this is for the week of the 8th through the 15th um so let's go ahead and see Um, number fifty, card number, okay, so it's card number 53. The sun card, okay. Um, the invitation. Have you been hibernating? Have you been introspective? It is time to come out of your cave and savor the life-giving light of our star. Because we know the sun is a star, not a planet, right? <laughs> you guys, I'm sure know that, right? Um, the sun rekindles your passion and your creative energy. Life is calling you to shine your light and to add your lightness and humor to the seriousness around you. Get out and play. The medicine of this card. Have you been shining your light for too long? Remember that daylight is only one half of the day. The night must have her equal time and she offers us her gifts as well. Be careful not to be blinded by your light or the light of others. Don't become enamored with yourself or worship others. Beware of the shadow. Revel in your midday glory, but do not be afraid of the waning of the light at dusk. Okay, so for some, you know, there could be a bit of like, you know, you know, needing to humble yourselves a bit or, you know, don't place so much value on material, um, 
you know, 3D like illusion type things, you know, or, you know, obsessing or, you know, things like that over, um, it's like, you know, like girls who like, I just want to be famous and I just want to have, you know, all this money and not, you know, and designer stuff and, you know, and, you know, if you're a humble person and coming from the heart and from a place of like love and like, you know, things like that, and you're, and you have a passion for things like that and you co-create and you, you, you receive that, that's one thing, but I, that's the word idolizing. Thank you. Idolizing. Okay. So, you know, I don't think that's you guys, most of you, but I know there's definitely some messages out there for at least a few people where they need to receive that message. Okay. Um, but the sun is shining and the weather is sweet as I'm getting is Bob Marley. And, uh, you're definitely being called to get out and play. It's like you've been in hermit mode long enough. You've been through the death cycle. There's definitely completion here and new beginnings, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and see what the tarot has to say here. Also, I'm getting like a massive enlightenment and a revelation here from someone whom you are very close with or, used, or you used to be close with. I'm getting this like forbidden fruit type energy here, Leo where you have a soulmate or possible like a twin flame where this person still loves you they desire you they want you they actually man are manifesting a future with you but i think for a lot a lot a lot of you guys um you should definitely watch my my collective message um well <clears throat> it'll be up after your guys's reading i'm gonna record virgo and libra tomorrow in the morning um so, and which is fine because, you know, it's, we're still going to, it's still going to be the weekly, you know, uh, messages, right. For, for Virgo and Libra. But anyways, <coughs> um, I, I'm being very heavily called. I've been getting a lot of messages and energy about this specific divine masculine situation for, for a lot of people in the collective right now. And it's specifically tied around a third party. So I don't know, this could be you in the third party. I just saw 720 and then 722. So July 20th, July 22nd, and then I got July 23rd and 27th. I know that like the first like one or two is not, I think it's still cancer season, but the rest of them could be you, could be dates that are specific to you, but you'll know. Um, anyways, I think that you're like the forbidden fruit for this person. Um, like there's avoidance. I'm getting the word avoidance energy that they've been, you know, in. But I'm also getting overbearing. This is becoming overbearing and overwhelming. This is someone who does not desire the partner that they're with any longer. And I think for a lot of you guys, it is definitely third party energy. Um, whether this is you and the third party, just, you know, cross watch or put yourself where you go. It's all same energy, no same message. Okay. Yeah, they're not happy. They're not happy. So let's see what comes out. All right. So I think the enlightenment and the sun energy and completion is someone who you're destined to be with. Letting you know or coming in and saying, hey, I've completed cycles on my end. It's come full circle. And then it also brings some things full circle for the two of you and this, you know, connection, right? That's what I'm getting. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. I feel it like it's 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 real it's real large and in charge energy here then the sun card your energy i mean your energy coming out first is beautiful because it means that you're front and center it means that like you are the center of attention right now in your own life you have a lot of eyes on you um you're in the sun you're in the spotlight you know it's like that it also is a very promising energy right of happiness so let's see tell me about this uh Sun card, please. Let's see what, you know, spirit has to say about the sun card. But, you know, I'm getting massive enlightenment. Eight of swords. What situation in your life is holding you back? Wow. See, that speaks of the third party. Now, this could also be for you guys in ways that you've been holding yourself back or holding yourself back in life. 
um, you could receive some answers, some enlightenment, some downloads, or you have a dream and you know one of your spirit guides comes to you and gives you the answer, you know, or you just make a decision, you wake up and you're like, I know what to do. It's like that. It's it's extreme clarity around, you know, the mental prison. It's breaking free of the mental prison. We'll just say that, okay? Um, but this is someone who Gemini energy, by the way, with the eight of swords, is breaking free. Um, there's a struggle here though. Yeah, see, judgment, wow. What is trying to get your attention? See, they know that the signs, okay, the communication from the divine and the universe right now, that it all means something. They're connecting dots here in a big, big way. One, two, three on the timestamp a moment ago. Okay, I want to communicate and I want to resurrect something here between me and beautiful Leo, my, my sunshine, you know. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. That's exactly right, too. This person has been in gray skies. Even on this cloud, it's or this cloud, <laughs> on this card, it's like gray, right? Archangel Gabriel here. God's messenger. Yeah, definitely a lot of divine God, godly messages. Um, which I, when I say that, I mean the universe sending signs through all kinds of different, you know, ways, just like the universe does. It's always doing it. You know, it's been doing it our whole lives. It just, it takes us a reconnecting and awakening to realize that, right? Holy shit. The world card, you have judgment and then the world card Scorpio. And then these are all the fixed signs here, Taurus, you guys, Leo, Aquarius and Scorpio. Okay. What is closing out for you now? What new cycle are you ready to start? Look at that. So you guys, when I, when I, it, I'm just channeling when I get quiet. Okay. So look at that. You have this card here, completion. A nine is the ending of something. Okay. Just like the world card though, this right here, the horse Boris, it's cyclical energy. You guys have an eternal bond for many of you guys watching this. This is something that's very holy with the Andean cross. It's very holy. It's very sacred. Okay. I feel like the, I feel like the universe has been waiting a while for this to come to fruition for a lot of you guys. Okay. The world card though. Yeah. I mean, look at this like sexy, like woman in the middle. This is it's, I'm telling you, you're the sun card. You're, it's all about you. You're in the, you're in the spotlight. If this person can see you online, they don't take their eyes off of you. They pull you up constantly. You're in their search history constantly. They're looking at your photos, saving your photos to their phone. You know how you can do that. So they're, you know, they're doing all the things. They're watching you. And the world speaks of the internet too, the world wide web, right? There's been many times where this person has wanted to just reach out, just hit, press send, press send. I see them like writing out a million different messages um, both through social media and direct message. And then also a lot of you guys through text message and some of you, they've written them out on both. But I think for some of you guys, they're like, they're like, should I reach out through social media or should I reach out on, you know, should I text them? Should I text them? Or is that too abrasive? Should I, should I, you know, should I call them? No, but I don't want them to think I'm a coward for not calling, you know, voice to voice, like, you know, Oh, I'll just tell them that I wanted to call, you know, but I wasn't sure if they'd want me to. So I thought I'd text and see, try my luck and then boom, you know, I'm telling you, you guys, the magician, they are manifesting you hard. Give me more please about the world and judgment. This little measly eight of swords. This is where they're getting out of They're They're mm -mm, with the judgment and the world card here. Yeah. Eight of cups. Exactly. Oh my gosh. They're walking away of eight, eight here. They're walking away and towards their destined path. Look at that, the star card. You are the shining star. I'm telling you, some of you guys are famous or this person sees you in the spotlight somehow. Maybe you get a lot of attention online or maybe you run a platform or you're uh, like an influencer or maybe you're a reader or, you know, stuff like that. Okay. Eight of Cups, it shows that they're walking away. Destiny is winning in this moment. Okay. See the mountains back here. There's distance. There's been a lot of distance, a lot of solitude. Um, I feel like this has been a journey, but the stars are aligning and it's, it's like, it's time, right? 
Um, but this person, like I said, they view you as like very celestial, like, 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 like you're not like you're out of this world. You know what I mean? Like, ah, it's like that. Um, I'm almost getting like one of their things is like not feeling like they don't deserve you feeling like, you know, like, like they don't want to ruin your life, you know, or maybe that's where they've been. Like, I feel like they can do better. I don't want to like ruin their life. I don't want to, you know. Just that kind of stuff. They're walking away from something here. Eight of Cups. Let's see what it says on this card. Well, oh yeah. The, yeah, they're walking away from that third party that I've been channeling. What situation in your life do you need to walk away from and emotionally disconnect? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then the star card. What needs to heal in order for you to realize your deepest dreams? What needs to heal? This. They do. They need to walk away. They need to distance themselves. They need to overcome the obstacles with the mountains. That's what they're doing. Okay, now I'm getting that song, The Climb by Miley Cyrus. You know? And that's what I'm... The Climb, the mountains. It's, the, it's about the climb. Okay. So, yeah. So, they're in a healing mode right now. Okay? Um, and the healing is because they are choosing free will, destined paths. All right, so let's get one more. We'll be at 16 minutes. Okay, cool. So um, so you guys are the last Zodiac I'm going to record today, and then I'll have Virgo and Libra up um, tomorrow, but I'm tired, you know, because I do, I do clients all day long in between recording. So it's like if I have a gap with clients for a half hour, I'll knock out one, one collective message, you know, or if I have like an hour, I'll try to, you know, do a few of them, you know. So I'm working from the morning to the evening, you know. So it's it's a real job. It's a real job. <laughs> you know, those of you guys who know, you know, right? Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so we have uh, all the earth signs here with him. Um, what situation in your life requires slow movement and determination? So this person, um, they're determined. I feel like at first they're going to seem like they're moving kind of slow, but they're not, if that makes sense. All right. This also shows me there's a huge Ace of Pentacle offer here. This is something that's taken a long, 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 long time to arrive with him. He's the slowest moving energy, right? There he is, King of Cups. But in the name of love, in the name of his heart and soul, and what his intuition is saying, he's coming in, finally. This, it's almost like this Ace of Pentacles takes over the photo or the picture, right? So this for me is like outweighing like any slowness. It's like it's finally arrived. It's front and center, like you, front and center. King of Cups, yeah. They've been planning this, Two of Wands. What situation in your life requires balanced emotions and careful observation? So exactly, they wanna come in more balanced. Sorry about that, loves, but the video, it got cut off because the storage ran out. So it happens sometimes. I thought it was fine, but it wasn't. So anyway, so let's go ahead and wrap up this message um, for you guys, and then I'm gonna go record the uh, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine reading for the collective. Um, they want to come in and they want to show you the balanced energy. I mean, they just, they're more balanced anyways, you know, that's what the healing is for. Um, so let's go ahead and what do we want to tie the reading up with? If you guys want to book with me, hone in on your own personal, you know, twin flame journey or spiritual guidance or anything like that, you can find all the options, um, and pricing down below. Send me an email, we'll get you set up. Um, and then that's also where you will find the information for my 1111 portal quantum healing activation workshop, uh, this Saturday in just a couple days. Um, but it's, you know, there's, there's last minute, um, there's space for last minute people right now. Right. So we would love to have you. Um, this is the fifth one that I've done. They're very powerful. Um, they're super fun. We get to interact and like talk and share and like all the things, but, um, but on a spiritual level, on a quantum level, they're very, very, very strong, very powerful. So we'd love to have you, like I said, anyways, all down below. Okay. So let's go ahead and since this is a past person, like this reading is straight up for that, right? Um, someone who's been in a third party. Now, they don't have to have been in a third party. Their ego could be the third party. Their boss could be the third party. Their nagging mother could be the third party. You know, that's an issue that, you know, they need to stand up to and learn to be vulnerable to you and like all these things, right? 
But I'm telling you that the majority of the messages or the majority of the energy here for this uh, Leo message is a third party. Could also be for some of you guys out there, um, the third party being like them still holding on to pain from a previous connection. But I think it's mostly a karmic, a karmic person. You were my home and I now feel like I'm out in the cold. Was it in this reading I talked about coming home together or coming home to one another? It may not have been. I don't know, but it's coming through right now. Like you guys feel like home together to, to one another. I'm confused about what I should do about my feelings for you. Yep. Okay, but they're, they're working it out. Letting you down was the worst decision I ever made. Yeah. This King of Cups is uh, packing some punch right now. He's His cup is very heavy. His cup is very heavy. He's He's got a lot of deep, you know, he's had a lot of deep regret, but he's got a lot of deep emotions connected to this, you know, invested in it. You know, the king of, of, of pentacles is the king of investments and material wealth and all that. He's the king of invested love, you know. That's why he very much, a lot of the times he holds on to that cup and he doesn't want to give it away, right? Because when he invests in love, he invests deeply. Um, with a counterpart energy. And he's been hurt before. I'm still trying to find a place for myself in the world. There's the healing again. I'm figuring myself out. I feel like I kind of lost myself in this karmic connection or whatever's been going on. All right, so let's see what else. I know that we've been together in past lives. I recognize you. You were never a stranger to me. Wow. That's beautiful. So it's like from day one. You brought out the best in me. I came alive in your presence. Yeah, absolutely. Let's get one more. I couldn't go against my family to be with you. That's literally what I said about them. A mother. But this could be culture, race. This could be religion, right? Like this could be, you know, um, anything. It could be anything. But it could also be like, they thought their family wouldn't accept you. Maybe you're highly spiritual and they're highly, you know, religious or something like that, right? I have awakened to our connection. I know we have a timeless bond between us. Wow. Talking about past lives, soulmate, like this and that. Like this person, I'm telling you that I said it was enlightenment, didn't I, from the beginning with the sun card. And I, I told you, this is my story. I'm sticking to it, right? This kind of stuff, I'm never wrong about this. I'm just not. So anyways, um, you know, that's what happens when you really connect and you and you learn to trust yourself, right? So anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you again for joining me today. Hopefully because I edit this video, it doesn't cut my head off like it does sometimes, but it might. If it does, oh well, it's all good. Um, have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you again. Mwah. Bye, Leo.